My name is Sasha Preston Suni from Chug CPAs LLP. I'm here today with team lead Pooja Srivastava to discuss an exciting new law that expands the Paycheck Protection Program or PPP. Pooja, could you tell us a little bit about the new law? Uh, sure, Sasha. Effective um, Sunday, December 27, 2020, the Consolidated Appropriations Act reopens the PPP loan with additional funding. Under the Act, more businesses are eligible for PPP loans, and it's easier to get PPP loan forgiveness. The Act even allows businesses to deduct expenses paid using the PPP funds on their taxes. This is great news for small businesses impacted by COVID-19. The new round of PPP loans, also known as PPP2, is available to first-time borrowers and even businesses that have already taken out a PPP loan. Pooja, how much money can small businesses borrow for PPP2 loans? The loan amount for PPP2 loan is calculated based on an average uh, monthly payroll cost, up to a maximum loan amount of $2 million. This is lower than the previous round of the PPP funding, which allowed businesses to borrow up to $10 million per loan. Most businesses are eligible to borrow 2.5 times their average monthly payroll costs in the calendar year or prior year. There is an exception for restaurants and hospitality businesses, which can borrow up to 3.5 times their average monthly payroll costs. Just like the first time around for the PPP loans, the PPP2 loans will have 1% fixed interest rate and a five-year repayment term. Thanks, Pooja. Which first-time borrowers are eligible for PPP2 loans? PPP2 loan expands loan eligibility to first-time borrowers that have 500 or fewer employees. It also welcomes first-time PPP borrowers in the industries that were not eligible before, including the 501c6 organizations, certain self-employed individuals, sole proprietors, independent contractors, accommodation and food industries businesses with fewer than 300 employees per physical location. Some exciting news is that PPP2 loans are available to businesses that have already taken out PPP loans before. Which previous borrowers are eligible? Businesses are eligible for a second PPP loan if they meet the following conditions. They have 300 or fewer employees. They have used or will use the entire amount of their first PPP loan. They have seen a 25% decline in gross revenue in any quarter of 2020 compared to the same quarter in 2019. One of the most appealing things about PPP loans is that they are forgivable. What expenses can businesses spend their loan funds on and still get their loans forgiven? Borrowers must spend at least 60% of their PPP to loan proceeds on payroll expenses. The bill expands eligible expenses to include A, personal protective equipment expenses, B, certain operating costs like cloud computing services and accounting. C, supplier costs that are essential to current operations. And D, uh, property damage caused by public disturbances not covered by insurance or any other compensation. Another exciting new development is that many borrowers will be able to deduct expenses paid using PPP loan funds on their 2020 tax returns. How does this work, Pooja? Under this bill, Business expenses paid using forgiven PPP loan funds are tax deductible. This provides ample relief for businesses and replaces earlier IRS guidelines, which stated that these expenses are not tax deductible. However, application of this rule varies state by state. In California, for instance, taxpayers cannot claim any deductions or credits for the expenses that are paid using the forgiven PPP loan funds because an existing state law prohibits this. Other provisions of the law may also differ based on the state law. 
Many taxpayers will receive a COVID-19 economic impact payment or stimulus payment under this bill. Could you explain how much taxpayers will receive, Pooja? Sure, Sasha. Taxpayers are eligible to receive a payment of $600 each or $1,200 for marriage filing jointly and $600 for each qualifying child. Payments are in the form of advanced tax credit and are not considered a cash public benefit. The payment is reduced by five per additional hundred of income starting at $75,000 of modified adjusted income for single taxpayers, $112,500 for head of household, $150,000 for married filing jointly taxpayers. Certain foreign nationals are eligible to receive an economic impact payment. Families that did not receive an economic impact payment the first time around are eligible to receive the retroactive payment. Thanks so much for sharing your knowledge with us, Pooja. We will be providing updates each week during our live PPP loan webinars. Please visit our website at www.chug.net. That's C-H-U-G-H dot net to register for upcoming events. For more information on PPP loans or any related matters, please contact us at info at chook.com. Wishing you a safe and healthy 2021. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.